let's look at another example of light reflecting off of a mirror. In this case, it is possible to use light of a single color and at a very low intensity, so that we can literally concern ourselves with the movement of individual photons of light traveling from a light source to a detector. Notice that the source and detector are positioned at the same height, with a barrier between them so that none of the light from the source can go directly to the detector. Our conventional wisdom would expect that light coming into the detector would follow a path from the source, hitting the middle of the mirror and reflecting up to the detector. We would also expect that the angle of incidence of the light to be equal to the angle of reflection. However, this is not actually true. In reality, a photon of light can travel from the source to the far left of the mirror and all the way up to the detector. Or it can travel to the far right of the mirror and back up, or anywhere else in between. Additionally, notice that the angles of reflection don't have to be equal at all. Believe it or not, that's how light actually works. Light also doesn't have any particular preference for any of these individual possible paths. So how does this all relate back to what we see in our everyday lives, which is the detector receiving light that's reflected from the middle of the mirror? The overall behavior of light is determined from all of the possible paths that the photons can take. It turns out that the light at the far ends of the mirror require much longer travel times to reach the detector, and the travel times vary much more than at the center. Alternatively, if you look at the center of the mirror, the travel times around that area are shorter and much less varied. They tend to be more similar to each other in that neighborhood. It turns out that the total contribution of probable paths that light can take around the center of the mirror are more aligned and reinforce each other, while the paths around the outside of the mirror tend to cancel out or minimize due to the wider variations in travel times. Ultimately, we are left with the light tending to reflect off of the middle of the mirror, which is also in agreement with choosing the path of minimum time.